vision supernatural vision. No. No. The reality of deep free diving on the hidden face of an offshore oil rig, not far from Port Gentil in West Africa. We're in another place and time, in what could be called the hell of black gold, to bring you the most spectacular images of underwater hunting that you've ever seen. The danger is extreme when the prey is none other than the greatest marine predator of them all, the shark. This man lives in perfect symbiosis with this hostile environment. He's the indisputable master and super predator. Is he man-fish or king of the fish? In the search for the biggest specimens, the giant grouper is a choice target. The animal can weigh more than 300 kilos. The side of the boat has been cut down to allow even the biggest groupers to be heaved aboard, however heavy they may be. It's in this unreal habitat, created by man from metal and concrete, to extract from the sea the energy of the 20th century oil that these century-old groupers come from the depths to seek refuge, not knowing it will be their rendezvous with death. The shot into such an imposing mass has to be perfect. Into the head, above the eyes, to hit the brain. Like the matador of the seas. Once on the surface, the grouper is virtually condemned. Even if he's not dead, his swim bladder makes him swell up like a balloon. And he floats like a cork. Here, fiction becomes reality. Everything is giant, out of proportion, monstrous, limitless, at the same time disturbing and fascinating.
Pour vivre de sa passion, to live his passion, free diving and spearfishing, this man risks his life every day. Ici, Here, danger the danger is omnipresent. The slightest error in this hostile environment could be fatal. In case of problem or material failure, death is a certainty. He's alone, solo hunting these monsters like a gladiator in an arena. No safety gear, no water, no food. The kill is made on an empty stomach, like a hunting dog excited by the scent of wild game. His dream, to dive deeper and deeper, and to stay under longer, to track the biggest and the most dangerous species, as though the limits should always be pushed further and further. On the surface, the noise and heat are insupportable. Under the water, the ocean is capricious. The visibility is often poor. Layers of green given to layers of brown and layers of blue. The currents broken by the tides are very strong. And to top it off are often inverted, in one direction on the surface and in the other on the bottom. <laughs> 